Hey, it's Mark Evans from Emmy Consulting. So I ran into a couple of entrepreneurs recently that had a marketing problem. Well, it wasn't so much a problem as a dilemma or maybe a conundrum. They were enjoying tremendous success with one marketing channel and they were scrambling to figure out how they could figure out what else to do, what else could drive leads, what else could drive conversions and sales. And I could feel their, I guess it was anxiety because they recognized that they didn't want to be a one trick pony. They didn't want to depend on one channel to produce all of their marketing success. And you can understand that given the fact that algorithms change and the competitive landscape changes and um, SEO factors could change. And so they were looking for something else to do. Now, here's one thing to put things in context. If you can find success with a single marketing channel, then that is amazing. So many startups, so many small businesses scramble to find something that they'll work, that will work. So they try lots of different things. They experiment and they throw things at the wall to see what sticks. And in many cases, nothing works at all. So they have a problem with customer acquisition, they have a problem with leads, and they have a problem with sales. So when I was approached by these entrepreneurs for help, the first thing I had to say was, congratulations, you've done a great job. You actually leveraged something and optimized something that's going to work for you, that is working for you. Now, the second thing to do is to think about, well, what else could you do? And for this kind of thing, I depend on something called the list, rank, and prioritize marketing methodology. And it works like this. First is you list all the things, all the marketing channels that could be relevant for your product, marketplace, and customers. And it doesn't matter how successful you think these things can be, what's important is you list everything. And then you rank them, and you rank them on three factors. One is cost, one is effort, how, much, how many resources you think it'll take, how much time you think it'll take, how much work, and the other is expected ROI. And in some cases, you know what the ROI is, in other cases, it's a guesstimate. You're, you're estimating what you think um, a marketing channel will return in terms of lead sales, brand awareness, whatever you're looking for. And finally, you rank them uh, based on the three criteria. And what you'll find is that your marketing channels will align themselves into three buckets. You have the now bucket, which means these are marketing channels that you'll focus on from today until the next, let's say, three to six months. You've got the soon bucket, which is three to nine months out. And you've got the later bucket, which is uh, which are things that you may get to in nine months or a year or you may never touch them because they just won't generate the results that you want. So you focus on the now bucket and you do the things that you think are going to move the needle. And so you try two or three or four things. I'm a big advocate um, in walking before you run. It's better to, to focus on a few things and really do them well than to spread yourself out, spread yourself too thin. And then you measure how well you're doing and you try to optimize how well you're doing. And in a sense, you're running a series of experiments. I mean, you don't know how well they're gonna do, but you're, you're hoping that if you've done the right planning, if you're focused on the right target audience, is that these marketing channels will work. Now, if they don't work, if I mean, one works kind of well and some others don't work, well, the ones that are sort of working, you try to optimize and you try to make them as good as you can. The ones that aren't working, well, then you've got to shelve them and dip into the soon bucket. Maybe there's things down there that have a better chance of success than the things that you're trying. So as you look for a new marketing channel, as you look for another way that you can be successful in terms of leads and conversions and sales, it's a series of experimentations, but it's experimentations done with discipline and done with structure. You're not throwing things at the wall to see, see what sticks. You're not guessing. What you are trying to do is approach things methodically and pragmatically so maybe if you're lucky and you catch lightning in a bottle again, you'll find another marketing channel that works for you. In the meantime, focus on the, the channel that is working. Make sure that you optimize it, make sure that you evolve it, make sure you're, you're on top of your game and you're always measuring it because that channel could drive long-term success. So the bottom line is that marketing in many ways is a series of experiments. Some of them work, some of them don't, but if you take a focused, structured approach to marketing, you'll hopefully, or maybe, uh, probably find success. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon.